you know, what I want to tell people, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I ain't on that status yet, I am who I am. And what I want to tell people is, when people call me a neighborhood superstar, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, because I am, but when people call me a superstar or a megastar, it kind of, like, offends me, because it's like... It detracts from what I do. See, here's the thing. Here's why I said this. Superstars and megastars are built by corporations and sponsors who allow these people to be that big. You know what I mean? Like, you know, these people are funded by people, by household brand names. Like, you have companies like Pepsi, you know what I'm saying, Coca-Cola. These people sponsor uh, superstars and megastars. I am like them. I am the sponsor. I am not the superstar. I'm not on stage dancing or, you know what I'm saying? I am the executive producer. I'm, I'm the nigga like, you know what I'm saying? It, it begins and ends with me. I'm not no superstar, no fucking megastar. You know what I'm saying? That shit like takes away from what the fuck I do. I build name, household name brands, man. Like brands you can remember. You will remember. Brands you Google and they come up everywhere on earth everywhere on the internet I mean there's a difference between a nigga rapping and a nigga building brands bro like that's a huge difference you know what I'm saying like you know and this this is no disrespect I ain't gonna tell a nigga name I'll put it to you like this that's like Jay-Z and a regular rapper I don't know what I name Jay-Z built brands, man. Like he said, I, I'm not a businessman. I am a business man. He builds brands, bro. Rockaware is a brand. Rock Nation. Rockefeller. He built brands, bro. That's way different than a nigga just rapping. Like, get on, get a check, and keep screaming. Such as such ENT and all that. Man, that shit way fucking different, man. This nigga done bought into basketball teams and... You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the nigga build brands. That's a huge fucking difference. Yeah, that rap shit got him on. But I'm just saying, it's the difference between Net Jay Z and the brand being Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, most niggas that rap don't know shit about marketing. You know what I'm saying? They don't know shit about budgets. You know what I'm saying? They don't know shit about target audience. They just get hot, get a buzz, and people buy that shit. They got other people doing the marketing, the budgeting. You know what I mean? The schedule appearances. They, they That's all controlled by the people with the money. That's all controlled by the people with the brand. You know, the artist is an employee now. Once he signed a deal, ain't no more, I'm chilling, smoking, all. No. You going where the fuck these people tell you go because these people gave you that money. And you ain't gotta go. You know, I'm gonna take the money and lock your stupid ass up. You better go. You're an employee and you'll never get any money ever again in life. Because once you get in that business, you'll find out you're expendable. Somebody coming right behind you is gonna be harder. However, if you build a brand, you never fall off. I don't care if your brand gets short, you never fall off. Once people know your brand name, it's just the nature of numbers of getting out there. It's basic math with anything you do in life. You go hard at that shit, you keep going hard. I don't care what you struggle, eventually you're gonna hit. Just when you hit, you gotta run with that shit, man. That's it. People say I'm crazy to believe the shit I believe, but I done done that shit. Yachts, I done done it. You know what I'm saying? Bored it, like, you know, the hand on my hand look like, man, everybody, I, I'm not out here to impress a motherfucker. You know what I'm when I do shit with my family, cool, or what it, whoever, but, well, man, man, you can believe what the fuck you want. See if you can do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Make all them excuses. Oh, yeah, he had $10 million house this year, 25 this year. Um, he do, doing this, he doing that. I mean, it's impossible for broke motherfuckers to do that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know, man. I ain't no fucking game. Nigga, I'm doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? And my money low. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I got a chance, bro. This shit means nothing to me, man. What a hater says is think that, man, fuck that shit. That's the way I look at it. Man, this is real. You can think what the fuck you want about me. You can talk about everybody in my family. I whack my videos here. How ugly Ross Squirrel is. Man, who are I don't know who do I don't know who don't. Man, it's plenty of fucking haters like you on the internet. Man, ain't but one motherfucker like me. Shit. Whether I got one view or a hundred million, 
Nigga, I'm gonna be me regardless. So, fuck that shit. They can say what they wanna say. I do that marketing shit. I build brands. You know what I'm saying? People fucking with my shit. That's it. Straight up. Boy, I wanna get it done. You too, King, man. I do this shit, man. What? I'm coming. For real. We got a uh, fashion show coming up uh, Rockville, Maryland. DC production. I want to say music hall, I think it is. Um, Raw Square Clothing will be in the building. Small Mouse Pet Clothing will be in the building. It's going to be bananas, man. Look, I ain't even going to. I ain't even on it. It's a concert and a um, fashion show. Bro, we ain't on that shit. I'm going to come in, me and my models. You know what I'm saying? And I don't bring no skinny models. And fuck that. I bring my people, shot. People been wearing this shit from day one. Fuck them model bitches. I don't know them bitches. You know what I'm saying? If, if I meet one and give her some clothes, hey, that's so it. But, man, I'm not paying you to wear my shit. Fuck you. You won't wear my shit when I made it. What the fuck about what you, how fat your ass is, man, bitch, fuck you, how much money you put into this shit? Alright, well, that's what you gonna get back, straight up. You ain't gay shit, you ain't gonna get shit, I don't give a fuck. Niggas can have that shit, I don't need that market. You know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to just market raw squirrel and, you know, putting bitches in bathing suits and all, I mean, if I do, I do one. But I ain't, fuck that shit. Niggas going too hard with their clothes, everybody doing that shit. So many people got clothes on, all them shit's the same, just different designs and... Fuck that. Ain't nothing like Ross Square. So either you want my shit or you fucking don't. It is what the fuck it is. Shout out to AR Review Magazine, DJ Black Caesar. Um Oh man. Shout out to uh Stacey Darlene, DC Music Man, you know, I come see you on the twenty second. That's next Saturday. Uh, Rockville, Maryland. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show we'll come in and show it show up. We're gonna make this shit happen. You heard me.